you touched on something that you brought up the, this morning at the Cancer Control Society. You want to talk about that? Well, we, uh, cancer pain is a big issue. Mm -hmm. There are, are cancer patients that suffer so much with pain, pain to the bone. I mean, that they just cannot deal with so bad that they get placed on very, very powerful drugs, opiates, morphine. Mm -hmm. And um, morphine will kill you. It will kill you faster. What are hospice patients on? They're on morphine. Mm -hmm. and, and most people don't come out of hospice. Morphine will expedite, in my opinion, your demise. And, and I think I can prove that. Um, cancer patients need an alternative uh, to the pain. Um, we now have in our possession an extract out of South America. And we're the only ones. And we're in the process of, of reproving it, but we, we have the documentation. We know what it did. It was used in the 60s and on cancer patients, many late-term uh, late cancer patients, and some with uh, just extreme pain. Within 72 hours of administration, uh, muscular uh, injection, all patients were completely out of pain. Relieves the pain of cancer completely within about 72 hours and stays away. That, in and of its own, is a miracle. No one else in the world has that. No side effects or other effects. Call them side effects or whatever you like. But there, there is one additional effect that people need to know about. And this is what's going to get me probably chased around the country for a while. The side effect of this, if you call it that, was that all patients went into permanent remission. You know what that is. All of them. Mm -hmm. Not two, not five, not ten. Thousands. Proven beyond any doubt. No one knows about this. No one has it. We call it Prima Nuvera. I announced it this morning. This is the first day that it's been introduced. We are in the process of doing our retesting. We can't do double-blind placebo clinical trials. First of all, the FDA won't allow us. Not on a natural substance. Heaven forbid something like that got approved. But secondarily, how could we do them? How could we give patient A with stage 4 cancer a placebo and patient B mm -hmm. the extract? This guy, we're saying, you're going to die and you're going to live. That would be unethical. And so you're not going to see those studies. And, of course, without those studies, the FDA, who knows what will happen. But we're obligated to forward this, aren't we? We're in the process of protecting the technology. I've become a target now, unfortunately. But it doesn't matter. You know, what we need to do is, is show cancer patients with pain what will help them. Uh, cancer patients, what will help Amongst these, amongst these other things that we've talked about that will put them into remission. This works. We know it works. Works every time unless your immune system is destroyed. Hmm. And those patients will still go out with no pain. How great is that? Yeah. And, and they'll think they're getting better. What a great way to go out if, you, if you're going to go out anyway and your, your immune system is destroyed. Uh, you simply cannot help those people. They've been killed by conventional medicine. Hmm. But this is, as far as the public is concerned, this will be brand new. And again, I didn't, um, I didn't uh, talk a lot about it this morning. I just briefly introduced it, and uh, wow, it was a pretty good reception. Uh, because people know what pain and cancer is. They, they have friends, they have family who have suffered, and suffered just extremely and immeasurably. And uh, we hope to alleviate that. And again, the side effect wasn't too bad either. Complete remission? Of course, the FDA will tell me to prove it, and they'll want it. We're putting it out to at least 100 different agencies um, throughout the world as we speak to protect the technology and to get it tested in many, many other areas and venues. The extract itself cannot harm anyone in any dose, ever. Can't. Mm -hmm. Just like eating a carrot. Can't harm you. Can't harm you. I mean, if you ate 20 pounds of them a day, a day, people would say, well, your skin's going to turn orange. Well, probably not. But 
what a great price to pay for, for good health. Mm -hmm. But there are, there are no other effects um, other than that. Um, so we're pretty excited about it. Um, we'll see where it goes from here. We'll see what, what happens from here. Could be a number of things. But I hope, regardless of that, that, that you guys publicize it widely that there is something like that because you're the, really the first to get it other than the two or 300 people in the hall this morning. And, and people need to know that there's hope. We're, we're about truth, we're about hope, and we're about leadership. When you tell people the truth, they have options, and you give them hope. You give them hope. Like the gal who came to me yesterday uh, down at the convention and hugged me and was crying and said, your book saved me. And we hear that all the time. It saved me because it showed me the right path. I had no hope. The doctor said, he, the doctor just called me three months ago and he says, if you don't come in and do this chemo and radiation, you're going to die. And I said, no, he didn't say that. She said, that's exactly what he told me. You're going to die. He bullied me. I found your book. I read it. I have hope now. And she's better today than she was then. It's about hope. It's about truth. That's all we at the American Anti-Cancer Institute will give people. Doesn't matter what it is. If it's the truth, we're going to tell you. And that's what you want, mm -hmm. especially when you have cancer.